the JAMA Network. Jerry Webb says diabetes runs in his family. I grew up around a lot of diabetic people. All three of my siblings are diabetic. My dad, two of his sisters, and an uncle. About a year ago, he received his diagnosis. That meant changing his diet, exercising more, and taking a drug called metformin. Metformin is a medication that really helps your body use the blood sugar that it has more efficiently. While we have a fair amount of evidence that metformin is the best first-line medication, there's really a lot less evidence about what to add on to metformin when you need a second drug. Dr. Christiane Rumi from the Nashville VA Medical Center and co-authors followed several thousand veterans who added insulin or a group of drugs called sulfonylureas to their metformin regimen. Between those two groups, there were no differences in heart attack or stroke hospitalization. But the group that added insulin had a higher risk for death from any cause. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Most patients can use a sulfonylurea for the treatment of their diabetes when they need medications uh, added on to their metformin. There was no advantage to early initiation of insulin. While insulin is very effective in bringing down blood sugar quickly, Many patients are still concerned about injections and other side effects. Patients really need to have a very frank conversation with their clinicians about the right regimen for them. Jerry tests his blood sugars three times a week and is working hard to control his diabetes. When you make these changes, you're going to have to keep it for the rest of your life. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.